Good evening. It's Facebook Love, number 284. Um, I have two pieces today. One very um, emotional about sort of uh, getting through hard things. And the second one is a translated poem by a Ukrainian poet. This first one, I'm not familiar with the writer. His name is Jeff Foster. And he wrote this piece called The Shattering. Sometimes you don't get to be a Buddha. Sometimes you just have to break and feel. You have to lose your precious spiritual awakening. You just have to be a human being, feeling. Sometimes old pain resurfaces, old fear, sorrow, trauma, the searing ache of the abandoned child, the rage of a forgotten universe, and suddenly, all of your spiritual insights crumble. All the beautiful spiritual words by the beautiful spiritual teachers, all the concepts and ideas about awakening and enlightenment and the pure perfection of pure untainted awareness and the selfless non-self self and the path to glorious futures and the wise guru. They suddenly are all meaningless, empty words, second-hand drivel, and dead to you. What's real now and alive is the burning in the belly, the fire in the heart, unavoidable, intense, so close, so present. Sometimes you just have to feel. You have no choice and sense your feet on the ground and breathe into the discomfort and trust and maybe trust that you cannot trust right now and take it moment by moment, by moment, by moment and know that nothing is working against you and awaken from your dream of how this moment should be and throw away all your secondhand ideas about the path. Sometimes your spirituality has to shatter so you can finally realize this deeper spirituality of feeling, presence, and feet on the ground living, and the sound of the birds singing in the distance, and a total surrender to this one precious moment. The Shattering by Jeff, Jeff Foster. This poem is one of several translated uh, by a Ukrainian, uh, written by a Ukrainian writer and translated. Uh, his name, if I'm getting it correctly, is Serhi Zadan. Everything will change even this perpetual warmth will change. The fog's settled steadiness will shift. The wet orthography of the grass will lose its inherently clean line along with its stem's expressive calligraphy. The measure of things which you accept so easily will change. The voice which grew thicker in the dark will get hoarse. October, which you know by its broken light and oversaturated space, will change too. It will go like this. A bird's lightness and rage. People who forestall the evening chill by singing will start to remember winter like a forgotten language. They'll read it, reread it, recognize it, and everything will change for you too. You won't escape this warning, this fear of the blackbird in the morning, circling the sharp 
warm trees, beating its wings against the blind gleam, lands that freeze to the core, sunny days for the brave and the luckless, your breath will change in the end. When you recite a memorized list of apologies, dogmas and faults, dryness will change and the wetness from the lowlands will change. The fields, winter cold will change. The stubborn October grasses and women's inflections will change. Like in fall, like in fall. This was translated from the Ukrainian by Amelia Glazer and Yulia Ilchuk, a poem by Serhe Zadan. This is Facebook Love. I'll see you again. Bye.